Let's talk about the new GoPro camera, the Hero 13 Black. Is it worth buying? Let's talk about the differences that this new camera has compared to the previous one, the Hero 12 Black. And then we'll see if it's really worth investing in the new one or if we should stick with the Hero 12 if you have it already. I'm gonna start telling you right now that it's the same sensor as the one in the Hero 12 Black. So the maximum resolutions will be the same. Both have a 27 megapixels, one over 1.9 inch sensor. In fact, the Hero 11 Black, which is even older, also has the same sensor. So if that's the one you have, you know, there's no changes. Many companies are doing this today. They don't change the hardware, which is basically the sensor, the cameras, the screen, the material is made of, etc. And that bothers me a lot. High-end cell phone companies, for example, when they release a new model, nowadays they are not changing anything but the software. So it means that they have the same sensor, the same camera, sometimes the same face, the same materials, but they focus on the software and artificial intelligence. They want your phone to do more things for you, which is okay. And I love that. But you're not going to charge me the same money that you charged me from the previous phone when you're not changing anything. Come on. I feel really cheated. By the way, two days ago it was released a new iPhone 16. Don't you think that it's the same as the 15th one? But well, I'm gonna leave it there because then Apple lovers are gonna start to hate me. So let's go back to the Hero 13. Thanks to the new software it has, now allows the camera with the same sensor of the previous ones to record videos in slow motion at 400 FPS, which sounds amazing, but it does it at 720 resolution for only 15 seconds and cropping the image. Come on, you can't promote the 400 FPS slow motion so much without mentioning that it's a 720 resolution and cropping your image. I mean, you record your video in 5K, which is cool, it's amazing, but then your slow motion is at 720, how are you gonna edit the video? If you want the slow motion to adapt to your video in 5K, you will lose a lot of resolution. That seems like a joke to me. They are promoting the super camera loudly, 5.3K resolution, which the three previous cameras already had but they also say oh my god but this has HDR well the three previous cameras already had it in fact as I mentioned it has the same sensor as the previous one so the resolutions will be the same but what's different why all the hype well there are some different things but they're not really that much they're promoting the GoPro Hero 13 Black which now comes with an amazing ability to record videos and take macro photos it sounds cool and in fact this is what I want to try I think this is what is attracting me to the camera the most. But in the GoPro website, if you check the examples of the photos with the macro lens, they are not that striking. But I wanna try it. I wanna try it and see by myself, you know what, I love it, or you know what, it's a joke. By the way, if you wanna buy the camera, it doesn't come with the macro lens, you have to buy it separately, and it costs $129.99, so it's like a 130. There is a pack that comes with the camera and the lens together, so you can save a little bit of money there. But still, I think that the price of the camera is ridiculous, when in reality, there's no technological advance in terms of the sensor which is basically the camera right you buy a camera to take photos and videos that's basically the sensor in fact the new software and other updates could easily be placed on the previous version through an update but obviously they won't do it because they prefer to sell you the new camera or sell you the same camera with the number 13 on the side and with an improved version of the software come on GoPro another thing this lens if you buy it you can also put it in the Hero 12 and it works just the same without any problems the only difference is that if you use it in the Hero 13 the camera will recognize the lens and offer some adjustment options for better photo or video so on the Hero 12 you will have to do it manually but I insist GoPro could easily put the update on the Hero 12 so you can use the lens the same way but no 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 they want you to pay for the new camera. Now they're also promoting the ultra wide lens. It allows you to expand the vision a little bit more to 177 degrees, which the previous camera already did, but with a fisheye, meaning a distorted image that not all of us like. With this lens, you won't have that distortion. Although in some videos that they've shown, I have seen some distortion, but well, it's supposed to be better. It costs $99.99, so $100, and you also get a pack of the camera with 
with the lens that helps you save a little bit. They have a pack with one of the lenses. If you want all the lenses, you will have to buy them separately. So I don't understand why they didn't create a pack where you can buy the camera with all the lenses together. That would be amazing, but they didn't do it. They want you to buy everything separately. But okay, the ultra wide lens also works on the GoPro Hero 12. So it's not a reason for you to change. I repeat, the differences with the GoPro Hero 12 are minimal. That's why the marketing of this camera and the advertising is actually focused on the lenses because those are the new thing of this year, not the camera. And still, they are sold separately. And they even work with the previous camera. I mean, I really feel cheated with this advertising. Now, the advertising is also mentioning four ND filters that look really cool, and they cost only $69.99 or $70 for the whole pack. I'm really excited about them, and I think I'm gonna buy them. Now, if you're a GoPro user and you were looking for ND filters before, actually, you could find it already a few years ago for other versions of GoPro. So this is nothing new. It's just that it's the first time that GoPro is making making them, so I think it's worth to check the quality. But let me tell you that I'm gonna buy them to use them in my old camera because I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. I'm not gonna get the Hero 13 as a form of protest, no way. But now again, the Hero 13 will recognize the filters as well when you put them on. I will adjust its settings by itself. So it's gonna help you, it's gonna like save you time, but it's not the end of the world. You can use them in your Hero 12 and do this manually. Now here comes something that is also bothering me, they're also promoting the camera with an anamorphic lens that looks cool, but I don't think they should promote the new GoPro Hero 13 by shouting and mentioning the lenses as if they are unique and only for this camera when they are not. Plus the anamorphic lens will cost $129.99, and yes, will cost, because it's gonna be on sale next year. I mean, then why are they promoting it so much? They should do an individual release since it's a lens that is sold separately and it's gonna be sold next year. I feel that the advertising and marketing applied to the new GoPro Hero 13 Black is being very manipulative and hides many things. I mean, I don't like that they tell you that it records slow motion at 400 FPS, but they don't mention that it's in 720 resolution and it's an image cropping. 720 is nine times less pixels than 4K. Nine times. And now I want you to pay attention in what I'm gonna say. If the camera had come out without the lenses, they wouldn't be able to advertise it since it would be very obvious that they would have to accept that it is exactly the same camera as last year. They just gave it an update to the software that they will not give to the Hero 12. And just think about this, if they wanted to, they could give the updates so that you can install them in the Hero 12 and there it would be exactly the same camera. Also another thing that makes me uncomfortable and I actually mentioned it before in other videos, almost all the YouTubers with a good number of followers have received the camera pack with the lenses for free, all the lenses and the camera together, something that you will never be able to buy as a pack on their website, you have to buy everything separately. And then when you see the video of the YouTubers, they are like using the camera like it's a marble and mentioning, oh my god, it records 5K, the HDR, the stabilization, etc. Like it's a world changing. And they know that they had all of that in the old version. But of course, they don't mention that, they are just so happy with the new camera. But don't get me wrong, if you don't have a GoPro from the last year or even before, I do advise you to buy it because it's a good camera with an excellent stabilization, maybe the best stabilization on the market. But if you already have the Hero 12 or the Hero 11, you don't need to change for the new one and in fact, it's exactly the same stabilization. <laughs> don't be fooled. I can imagine that after this video, GoPro will never send me their cameras <laughs> and I hope that they rethink this and they send me the GoPro Hero 14 Black. <laughs> and I hope they improve the sensor by that time. Until next week.